I know you guys probably heard online or heard from someone else how Colin and Maddie met. But you know, I was actually there. I was sat next to Colin throughout that stats class. And he would non-stop talk about that blonde-haired girl two rows in front of us. One day, towards the end of the semester, he decided to go up and talk to that blonde-haired girl. The rest is really history. She went from that blonde-haired girl to his beautiful bride. This is it, Maddie. It's me and you from here on out. Thank you for blessing me with your life. It is the best part of mine. All right, you ready, sister? Let's do it. I love you, CB. <laughs> I, Colin, take you, Maddie. I, Colin, take you, Maddie. To be my wife. Be my wife. I will love you and honor you. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. We're 10 years apart, so when I got married, she was about 12 years old and stood up here as a bitty little girl and just said, you know, I hope when I get married, I find someone that loves me as much as Matt loves you. And you found that. Dear Colin, first things first, take a breath. I love you, Colin. Can you believe it's actually August 14th right now? I'm so ready to marry you tonight. I feel like we've been preparing for this day our entire lives, whether we knew it or not. You know, the hardest part of writing this letter to you has been thinking of how to end it. I just can't seem to put into words how much I love you and how much you mean to me. I guess you've done a pretty good job of leaving me speechless. Raise a glass and join me in a toast to Colin and Maddie. May you always love one another as much as you do today. And every day, thank God for your many blessings.